Ken Crenshaw, the Diamondback trainer, out there maybe having a look at Dale Scott, the crew chief, who's the first base umpire. No, Zach Franke. This looks more like an equipment issue than anything else. We talked it over with the umpires there. They apparently gave him permission to go in and take care of whatever it is, but it didn't look like an injury. Yeah, you're right. This Pat Hoberg, plate umpire on the left, Dale Scott, the crew chief on the right. Mike Butcher, the pitching coach. He's a pitching coach without a pitcher right now. <laughs> While we have a moment, fans, we'll remind you, fill out your 2016 Esurance MLB All-Star Game ballot. Right now, you can do that at dbacks.com on your computer, your tablet, or your smartphone. You can vote up to 35 times. Vote today, vote tomorrow, vote early, vote often, dbacks.com slash vote. You can see Mike Butcher getting on the bullpen phone with Garvin Alston, the bullpen coach. So that's a little disconcerting. Pale's going to come out and talk to Dale Scott and Pat Hoberg. And there he is. That glove looks nice and shiny. See anything happen on the mound? He threw his warm-up pitches to Chris Herman since Wellington Castillo was on base in that last half inning. Yep. But uh, after he finished his warm-up pitches, you can see the expression on Zach's face after th he's wincing after every pitch right there. Looks to be in a little bit of discomfort, and that's going to be it. Zach Ranky will leave the ball game. He is unable to continue. He walks off with Ken Crenshaw, the Diamondbacks head athletic trainer, and Granke has to call it a night before we can start the third. Let's check the warm-ups prior to him leaving for the dugout. Uh, we can only speculate. We don't want to get involved in that. So we'll tell you for certain that Zach Greinke is done tonight. Randall Delgado will come out and replace him. As we await the start of the third inning here at Chase Field, Greinke is done. 